Hello and welcome back for the third part of the nano tank series. In this video I'm going to be planting up the 17 litre clear sill tank. I'm going to try and grow a carpet of dwarf baby tears on the right hand side of the tank. We've also got some Ludwigia which is going to be on the left hand side to cover up the filter and the heater. Tucked between the wood and the dragonstone I'm going to put this Anubius Nana Petite. Further towards the background we're going to put some straight red vallis and this will hopefully provide the fish with some shade. Now we've been over the four species that I'm going to use to start off with, we'll crack on with how we're going to plant them. Here I've got a five centimetre pot of dwarf baby tears. Uh, you can see that the base of the pot is rock wool and this is where the roots are. Um, I'm being careful here to separate the rock wool from the roots um, without tearing them up because this plant can be quite delicate. Unfortunately, um, dwarf baby tears is notoriously difficult to grow. I'm going to give it a shot using highlighting and um, Easy Carbo by Easy Life, which is a liquid CO2, um, and see how it goes. But it might be that by the time I get round to doing the review video in a couple of months, um, I'll have had to introduce a CO2 injection system to this tank, um, but I'll also um, have a separate video of how to set those up if I do do that. If you do already have highlighting and also CO2 injection, then you shouldn't really have any problems growing this plant. As you can see, I've nearly finished separating the dwarf baby tears from the rock wall that they come in. Once I've done this, I'm going to separate each plant out into portions, which can then be planted individually. Preparing carpeting plants in this way means that each plant has the greatest chance to spread and form a nice dense carpet. And it also means that you require fewer pots, which obviously saves you money. For reference, I ended up using about four and a half pots. Now each pot has been divided into portions, it's time to plant them. I've got some planting clips here and I'm just holding the plants carefully by the roots and pushing them gently into the soil. This can be a bit tricky but you can push down lightly on the plant and this will help you remove the planting clips without pulling out the plant as well. Next we're going to plant the Litwigia. Unlike the dwarf baby tears, this is a stem plant so there's going to be several stems inside the rock wall. Just like I did before, I'm taking the stem and I'm pushing it into the substrate. This does take a bit of patience and will almost certainly be easier in larger aquariums where it's less fiddly. You may have noticed that I'm occasionally spraying the plants and this is to stop them drying out. Next I'm going to put in the vallis and unlike the other plants this is a bunch plant so it comes with a sponge and a leaded weight around the base. Uh, all you have to do is unwrap the lead and the sponge and you'll find some small plants inside. Just like the other plants you just push them into the soil. Finally we've got the Anubis Nana Petite. I'm just using the planting clips to remove any excess rock wool and then I'm going to try and wedge it in between the wood and the rock. You can use string or glue for this, but I'm hoping that the rhizome will eventually attach itself. Here's what the finished planting looks like, and now we can get on to filling the tank. To keep the tank clear as it fills, I'm putting in a plastic sheet. I've also got the help of my sister because otherwise this would take a fair while. And we're just carefully pouring in the water over the plastic, and this will stop the um, substrate becoming disturbed and causing the water to become all murky. As you can see, some of the plants are floating up as we do this. This is just because they haven't got their roots established yet, and so they're not anchored into the substrate. The dwarf baby tears only has really tiny roots, so it's especially likely to float up. The tank's pretty much full now, so I'm going to go ahead and take out the plastic. I'm also going to replant the plants like I showed you before. It is a bit more frustrating and challenging now there's water in the tank because they are buoyant, um, but just be patient and um, you'll eventually get there. All that's left to do is turn on the heater and the filter. I'm also going to attach the spray bar and direct the flow where I want it to be. This is the finished aquascape and I will keep you updated as the plants begin to establish. 